Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low budget wonder. Now check this out. Here I've got a normal, average size pot pie tin that'll be perfect for this recipe. And here I've laid down a store-bought puff pastry sheet. Using a small plate as a pattern, I can cut out a pie crust for the tin. It's important to use a dish slightly bigger than the tin to make sure you've got enough dough to tuck down inside. And I'll use the tin itself for the mold to cut the top part of the pie crust. Now all you have to do is fit it to the pie tin and cut off any extra dough that's hanging off the edge with scissors. And then our second piece will fit like so. Now here I've got some 80-20 ground beef. And it's important to fill the majority of the inside of this tin with a thick patty. So you want to grab about a half pound of ground beef and just finesse it into a nice thick burger. And when they're this thick, it's not a bad idea to press in the center with your thumb. This will help reduce the shrinkage. Then over season it with some salt and pepper. Then you want to go ahead and throw down your burger in a hot pan or grill. Immediately season the other side. I tend to cook over medium heat for about a minute per half inch of thickness before I flip. Then generally a minute less of cooking time on the other side. Now be sure to hang out to the end of this video and check out my southwestern chicken pot pie and my double ground beef burger. And this is what it should look like when it's done. Just a nice juicy patty. I just set that down on a plate and give it a rest. Now just hit the pastry dough with a little bit of ketchup, maybe some mustard, and if you can dig it, maybe some pickles. Then just lay your burger right over the top and hit it with a couple slices of cheese. Now I've got a little bit of egg wash. I'm going to coat the outside ring of that pie crust. This way the top layer will stick much better when it's firmly pressed in. And if you want you can go all the way around the outside edge with a fork and give it a nice pattern. Then just egg wash the top, ventilate with a knife, and stick it in an oven safe dish and take it straight to the oven. And you want to bake at about 400 degrees for 15 minutes. And when it's done it should be baked to a nice golden brown just like this. Now let's go ahead and cut it open. Tell me that doesn't look great. And there you have it, cheeseburger pot pie, right here in the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen. Thank you for watching, and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.